games, they don't win. So mm -hmm. we're going to go from Canada to the opposite. Time for some Miami Knights this morning, specifically the U's uniform tonight. Black base helmet, jersey, pants combo, neon green and orange. Ooh. Yeah, the highlights are inspired by South Beach. Nowhere near campus or the stadium. A gray palm tree blowing in the strong winds of a hurricane on the sleeve, Gary. I'm glad that they decided to go with pants. The helmet logo also designed to look like neon lights. Mm. The front bumper featuring the Miami script. Going to check those out tonight, 8 Eastern on the ACC Network. For other fashion statements, it's time for Gear Up with Sacho. The lights are shining bright in week six as the UCF Golden Knights will launch their light mode uniform. In their Big 12 Conference debut season, UCF's new threads exude a sense of elegance. The centerpiece is the helmet adorned with gold chrome UCF logos and a prominent center stripe. Look hard enough and you'll see the night logo subtly integrated into the shoulders of the jersey. We head to the Midwest where the only stadium in major college football is named after an African American. It's been 100 years since Jack Trice, Iowa State's first African American athlete, took the field. I resonate with Jack Trice so much because of how he challenged adversity. If it wasn't for this man, I don't know where I'd be. Iowa State players will honor Trice through their legacy game throwback uniform. Before they were the Cyclones, they were the Ames, what the early 1900 Iowa State athletic teams were referred to as. On October 5th, 1923, Trice penned a letter the day before playing in his first college football game. In it, he wrote, everyone is expecting me to do big things. I will. Those two words are showcased on both the helmet bumper and jersey collar. Nope, that's not Jaws. That's the Sharks of Long Island University. LIU has fully embraced their nickname this season. The Coastal Blue uniforms are a nod to Long Island's seaside living lifestyle. The shark logo was prominently featured on the helmet and shoulder caps and just might be front runner for the best new fit of the year. Ooh, LIU look nice. All right, game day knows the way to the Cotton Bowl Come on. for this matchup today, marking the eighth time the show has featured the Red River rivalry. Last year, you could say Texas covered quite safely, 49-0. <laughs> it was the biggest beatdown for Boomer Sooner in the history of this matchup. 